Leviticus 19, verse 23, When you have come into the land and have planted trees for food, you shall count their fruit as forbidden. Three years shall they be forbidden to you, it shall not be eaten. Forbidden fruit, that's the Garden of Eden, is it not? And so God is saying that yeah, when you plant a tree and uh, it starts to bear fruit, three years it's forbidden. Don't eat it for three years. These, quote, little laws were to continually teach Israel and us to practice self-control, to practice delayed gratification, not to think, oh, I planted a tree, oh, there's some fruit on it, yeah, grab it. Don't just grab what you want. Don't just see it and think, oh, yeah, that's cool, that's the fruit of my labour, I shall eat it. Stop. Three years before you can eat it. Now, self-control and delayed gratification do not come naturally to people, do they? You have to practice it. And the whole purpose of what God is teaching in the Law of Moses is to teach people, is to teach his people these things. So then we are to accept that we in our age are likewise being taught by God through experience to practice self-control, to practice delayed gratification. Now God had promised you will never go hungry. You will not go hungry. I will feed you. And you will have very great fertility and every blessing. And so it wasn't as if they had to eat this. So with self-control, you won't get there by your knuckles going white as you try to resist the temptation to grab it for yourself. No, there is a bigger picture of God's blessing and perceiving that the greatest blessing is that you are in God's land, that you have been blessed and seeing that cup half full and not half empty. So that you focus on what you have got, and you do not covet. And the desire then for immediate gratification never goes away completely, but it greatly recedes when you focus upon the huge blessing that you have in the Lord Jesus Christ.